If it seems Austin is swarming with driverless cars, it is not your imagination. GM's Cruise Service and Alphabet's Waymo are already here, and Volkswagen is rolling into town. And according to Reuters News Service, it's because Austin, Texas is known for the least restrictive regulations on self-driving cars. But this environment for experimentation isn't by design. We asked City Council Member Zoe Kadri, whose downtown district includes what has become prime test drive territory. It's unfortunate the state ledge uh, has kind of, uh, I guess, tied our hands on this one. Uh, they've taken away our ability to regulate um, these companies. The state gave itself full authority over autonomous vehicles back in 2017 with the passage of Senate Bill 2205. And the legislation expressly forbids local governments from trying to regulate self-driving cars. We wanted to learn more from the Texas Department of Transportation, but they said they couldn't arrange an interview for us before our deadline. But they did point us to the info we were looking for. For example, if a driverless car violates a traffic law, who gets the ticket? Under state law, the owner of the automated driving system is considered the operator of the automated motor vehicle, and that's regardless of whether the person is physically present in the vehicle. And are autonomous vehicles legal on highways? Yes, if they are designed for it and if they have some kind of black box recording device. So what should people in Austin do if they have concerns about the self-driving cars here? Do what the council does. What we've been doing is reaching out to our uh, folks in our state delegation, obviously hearing from our constituents and pushing their concerns up. Uh, I encourage folks who who have had similar issues or concerns or or run-ins with these robot cars to reach out to their state uh, legislators. On this matter, what the state says goes. Fred Cantu, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.